Chess friends, how are you? I am winning the Computer Blitz chess tournament title game in the chess.com. No one is close to me, so today I will show you the insane chess game between me and Torch. We cannot solve problems with the kind of thinking we employed when we came up with them, so let's go. I started the game with e4, we have c6, d4 d5 and we have advanced variation of Cairo. You can play bishop f5 to get this diagonal but Torch played queen b6 to pressuring the center and b pawn, knight c3 bishop f5 and I pushed the g pawn, I declared that I am the chess leader of our galaxies and our planets, I will use my army to attack black pawns in the future. Therefore I will castle in long side so we have bishop d7, knight a4 and playing queen a5 check will help me to build pawn my pawn structure with c3, so he moved back his queen and torch decided to play h5, he want to open the h file so I take the free pawn, this pawn sacrifice is not a big deal, black can recover it by simply developing his pieces quickly, the knight is coming to create problems for black. Be patient fool, no problem is endless and bigger than you. We have queen d2 to play long castle and I can push my kingside pawns, knight d7 f4 knight h6 long castle and torch copied me, he puts his king in the same direction of wind rather than against the wind. I always love to embrace my problems because I am like an airplane, an airplane flies against the wind, not with it, we have king b1 knight c3, of course chess is an intellectual game but the more intelligence you put into it the more complex it becomes, we have knight c4 to target these pieces, if you do bishop knight exchange then the two connected pawns will bring fire in your position, and don't forget that the light square bishop will be the beast in there, so we have queen c1 to protect it, knight g4, and after some moves later, the position become more and more complex, every moves are 4000 lo level, you can't easily understand about a single move plan, here black played amazing knight a3 move to create some possible threats in the future, we have queen d3 f5, you should not play on passan move to target this because of pawn takes pawn and it will be secured, you need to play some developing moves to activate your pieces more in the squares. The game is just continue like a 200 LO rated Gothamchis live stream, I can't explain all the moves because the game is just insane, the knight is creating fork to the queen and rook, so bishop e1, do you know why I am best in chess? Because I use my 100% focus power in chess, I practice chess every day and I don't vac 200 LO rated chess videos, watch and follow someone who is best in chess and of course, no one is close to me. We have some bar dancing chess pieces, because this position is closed so we can't attack each other, pawn structure isn't in the right condition to break opponent structure, kings are safe and these two stupid pawns can't do anything, queen and rook is also. Passive there, let me fast forward the game, insane chess game means an equal amount of advantages for both players, but I am improving my position by slowly, even it's too difficult for all the computers to play against me, chat GPT is my little brother and he also isn't close to me in chess, because chess is an intellectual game. The sun is only one, earth is the best planet in all planets, human is the superior species among all the animals, and I am the best and one and only superior genius in the universe, we have king g8, look at the king, he was afraid of me and ran like a donkey, ha ha ha, we have rook to g6 with the idea of playing h6, so he takes it, knight e2, it's time to introduce my knights with black pawn structure, my knights are always crazy to thunderbolt the king position. Queen a7 rook here and I sacrificed my first piece with knight takes pawn, takes and now I get the f5 square for my knight used to attack this single pawn, torch is a idiot man, he played castle long time ago and now he brings his king in kingside, what the heck, why he is playing chess. My idea is to play knight h6 check because the pawn is pinned, knight d8 knight h6, by moving the knight I get the f squares for my f pawn to create troubles for him which is why he decided to take the knight, takes knight here queen g6, here any normal player would think of playing queen a6, let me show you the variation, then we will simply push the f pawn, knight has to run then queen check, we will repeat one move, then b5 will come to sacrifice it, takes f6 to target this pawn. If you try to defend your position with queen b7 then we will push the f pawn, takes and it will be a checkmate, so back to the position, 
Torch is a subscriber of me so he sacrificed his knight by capturing the pawn, any 200 elo player would take it, takes king ups takes, that will be a bad situation for you because everything will attack you, one problem never comes in human life, dozens of problems accumulate in human life, this is the reality of life, white will be mated but I am stockfish. I know everything faster than you think, so we have rook g1 to get this file, knight check king a2 and you shouldn't take the knight, let me show you the variation, if you take it then remember, the king position is not in a healthy condition, so I can attack him with my queen rooks and the pawn, if the king position is not secured then and one pawn can become a mountain for you, knight takes pawn isn't possible because of queen h5 and I will threat you to checkmate you in h8 square. The f5 square will be seized by my queen, so if you try to save your rook then it will be checkmate in h7 anyway, if god wants, then everything is possible, so back to the position, torch salutes me and sacrificed his queen by capturing the rook, queen takes g2, takes, queen g6 and the f-pawn is coming to threat you, so after knight c4 e6, you cannot save your rook because of the same reason, so in this position he sacrificed the knight, So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.